meteorologist Mark Mulner is your host for the Weather Show Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into the tropics. We got a new tropical storm out there. Uh, Hurricane Gert is spinning way off into the North Atlantic, becoming extra tropical. We have Tropical Storm Harvey here, just east of the Leeward and Windward Islands, the Lesser Antilles, moving to the west-northwest at a really good clip. A minimal tropical storm continuing to strengthen and should become a hurricane. Now, it's important to note that this system will be traveling over very warm sea surface temperature water, so it's very probable that this storm could become much stronger than the models are indicating. Also, wind shear is slackening as of late in the forecast period as well. This will become a very big problem for places like, it'll just move just south of Jamaica, although if I were in Jamaica, I'd be watching this as well as the Cayman Islands, but most likely the places where it's really gonna hit hard are Nicaragua, Guatemala, Belize, parts of Southern Mexico. So this could be a real problem for the area from Honduras, Nicaragua, Guatemala, and Belize, to say the least here, and eventually parts just south of Cancun here. So this thing could become a category two, category three storm in my eyes, given the great uh, potential in the really Southern forecast envelope of the track here. So we'll watch Tropical Storm Harvey, we also have just to the northeast and vest 92L. This system is going to continue to head towards the west-northwest, heading just north of the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico, eventually affecting the Bahamas. By this time, it could be a formidable tropical storm. It will be our next tropical storm, most likely. So stay tuned in the coming days. I'll have more updates on this as well. And if that weren't enough, we've got a potential another system behind this that I'll talk about later on in the forecast period. So. We're watching two systems, Tropical Storm Harvey and this Invest 92L, which will be rounding a very blocking high that will be building in across the mid portion of the North American continent, which should steer this system more on a westerly course towards the Bahamas. And it's a little too early to say whether Florida will be affected, but if I were in Florida, I would be watching this over the next several days. Like I said, with Tropical Storm Harvey, it will be the Monday, Tuesday time frame of next week that we could be seeing places like Nicaragua, Honduras, Belize, and as well as Southern Mexico here being affected by this storm. So those are the time frames. Let's get right into the forecast for the portion of the country, the United States here, taking a look at precipitation totals. Once again, the theme has been omitting the western portion of the United States from tropical or tropical downpours and or rainfall for that total. Most of the systems will be in the east here. We'll continue with that trough. But like I said, down here in Florida, the Carolinas, Louisiana, all the way up the Appalachians into the northeast and Great Lakes will continue funneling that tropical moisture. And it'll be interesting to see how these tropical systems interact during the next week or two across the eastern portion of the United States. Getting right into the forecast track, like I says, trough in the east, Ridge in the west. Let's get right into that forecast, starting off with your Friday. Very important forecast here because we'll be having this warm front pushing in with a strengthening cold front here. And this will promote severe thunderstorms. Places like Syracuse, Binghamton, Elmira, Ithaca, Bradford, Warren, over towards Buffalo earlier in the day. These will progress eastward throughout the day, but like I said, Bradford, Pittsburgh, State College, Harrisburg, Scranton later on in the day, the Hudson Valley later on in the day. But this is the area that has the highest risk from the Finger Lakes, the central southern tier, the Susquehanna region, northeast Pennsylvania, Scranton area, up towards Binghamton, Syracuse. This could be the bullseye of the strongest to severe thunderstorms tomorrow with heavy rainers also training across the same locations, flash flooding potential increasing with P watts, precipitable water increasing throughout the day. So we'll be having those tropical like downpours with good wind shear in the atmosphere. Main threat will be damaging wind gusts in excess of 58 miles per hour. Also large hailstone three fourths in invention diameter or larger. Tornadoes may be a little bit more of a stretch. It's more of a straight line damaging wind threat. Temperature is getting well up into the upper 70s, near 80, but it will be humid throughout most of this area. For Saturday, we push that to the east, finally clearing things out here. Still have some residual moisture here in New England, but look at this. We're clearing out for most of the area from the Great Lakes into portions of the Susquehanna River Valley, where temperatures will rebound into the upper 70s into Sunday, looking really nice across the northeast, high pressure building in. And look at this, the last half of the weekend, temperatures getting into the 80s. And look at this for your Monday, still holding on to warm temperatures on the backside of high pressure here, getting into the 80s. In 10 seconds, here we go. 
for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton, Upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and Northeast Pennsylvania, five day outlook. Taking a look at the area from Friday, this is the area from 3 p.m. up to 9 p.m. could see the strongest thunderstorms, damaging wind gust, large hailstone being the main threat during the mid to late afternoon into the early evening. Temperatures getting up towards the upper 70s into Saturday and Sunday. These are two very nice days to get out there and enjoy the weather getting up towards the upper 70s and into your Monday and Tuesday. We really start to heat it up here into the upper 80s as things get more summer like. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark Comments, Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus at MediaMark, MediaMark.com, and WeatherNortheastern.com.